Mental health is something that really hits home for me. I feel like there is a common misconception about what anxiety and depression really is and what it really looks like. I think the scariest thing about depression is that it's not always evident. I've struggled with anxiety and depression for around four years now, and I've learned to not label myself as I've dealt with this in my life because I know who the Lord says I am, and that can only define me. Although I'm a Christian, I still struggle with my headspace and finding peace within life's stresses. I think a lot of people as Christians don't speak on all the trials they experience in their walk with Christ because they're scared of what others will think of them. I've always told myself that I'll share my story even if it means I get to encourage one person. I haven't shared my testimony yet, but here's a short glimpse into it. In the summer of 2019, I had an unexpected health scare, which sent me down a negative downhill spiral. Anxiety consumed me. I started not only to doubt my health, but everything became filled with anxiety. My mind wouldn't let go of the what ifs, and soon enough, I couldn't function doing my daily tasks, which was very debilitating. Fast forward two years, the anxiety reached its breaking point. I reached my breaking point. I would constantly have nightmares, fears, and constant worry. I became my anxiety. I let it define me. I lost touch of who I was and let my mind control me. I began to have panic attacks and my body was in constant fight or flight mode. I began to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. on the dot just because my body was so anxiety ridden. My anxiety would wake me up. I remember having to go on walks or praying in my closet feeling hopeless. I lost sleep, I lost weight. I pushed everything away from me that was good for me and I gravitated towards everything that tore me down. I felt numb, helpless, like I was losing self-control. This lasted for a while until I realized the lessons God was trying to teach me. I began to realize the character he was creating through me. Without trials and seasons, there is no growth, and sometimes you have to reach rock bottom before realizing the benefit from the pain. I began reminding myself that God has more for me, that my thoughts don't define me, and that I have the power through him to overcome the darkness. I am who he says I am and not who this world says this world says I should be. Looking back, I am so grateful for the seasons God allowed me to grow through because I wouldn't be who I am today if not. I always pray that God molds and shapes me into the woman he intended me to be, and I can say confidently now that he has done that and he is still doing that. He's not done with me yet. Those who are watching this, just know your story isn't over yet. Please don't give up because your best days are ahead of you.